everyone this is ramiza and welcome back to my channel home inspiration we have so many requests of our kitchen tour and that is exactly we are going to do today yes i'm going to show you my new kitchen and organization of this new part of my house so enjoy but before that please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so you wouldn't miss any of my new video when we were designing our house we really wanted to have an open kitchen concept so goes from kitchen to the dining room and lounge and of course lighting is very important so we have lots of lights in here and a beautiful chandelier too i am so so obsessed with those colors like white gray and black with some touch of silver and gold so when we were designing it i tried to select those colors to give an elegant look because this kitchen as i told you an open kitchen so i decided to give it a wide look and i love to have an island in between kitchen area so i decided to have an island in my own kitchen here is some beautiful handmade khattati of ayatul kursi and allahu akbar on the wall side and uh, i wanted to give white marble touch on the back side of the kitchen wall so i selected this marble it's totally matched with the cabinet color and the combination okay i will start from this cabinet when i was organizing my kitchen i thought a lot honestly i thought a lot that what will goes or set in which cabinet i just keep some glasses and jugs and some jars as well in this cabinet this cabinet have sliding shelves as well easy to access and here are flour and pasta and spaghetti and stuff like this everything is labeled so it's easy to take it out every time down here i have some utensils kitchen clothes and measuring instruments as well down here i have some cereal jars and uh, chocolates biscuits and cookies some candies stuff like this Down here I have some utensils, kitchen clothes and measuring instruments as well. In this wooden drawer I have some table mats, table decoration items. Next move on to this long cabinet in which I keep bottles, lentils in jars, some other stuff. And next up here in this cabinet I kept all my kitchen appliances like food processor and grinder mixer etc and down here I have built-in microwave and built-in oven as well in oven I set all the baking trays and other baking stuff related to baking And down here below the oven I kept flour and oil and back in there I have more machinery which I use very often mm -hmm. 
then in the very next cabinet i have some stuff related to make roti like roller and i have baked biscuits in here down here i have cooking oil section so yeah next cabinet in here i set all the small items like salt and pepper pots and other things down here i have some small pots And above this I have set my gas stove and below this I have two drawers in this I kept all the curves and mugs everything well organized neat and clean and above this drawer I have another drawer of my cutlery some other utensils also And then below this drawer I kept some saucer for cups and some small cups for kids okay in this cabinet I just keep some of the medicines and some empty jars and honey and down here I just keep all um, foil paper and ziplock bags etc so now move up here on the counter i just always try to keep the counters clean and minimum things on it this is i like here i have this fruit basket and knife stand and of course as is uh, stainless steel stand for hot pots and in between i have my gas stove which have three burners and a glass top on the left hand side I have uh, other big spoons, spatulas and brushes for everyday use in kitchen and I have sugar, tea, coffee pods and a dry milk powder. And now the hood above the range and it's a dream really it helps a lot in cooking and besides this I have my spice cabinet I had already uploaded a video on this uh, cabinet you can go and check in my description box down there they are so handy it's nice to see all of your spices easy to find makes cooking so much nicer okay up here i have some beautiful crystal pots for decoration on table and a jug and down here in this cabinet i organize my big size plates on this silver stand which i bought from a supermarket it's so helpful for organizing your kitchen and besides this i set bowls um, again on the silver stand and in the corner i have some disposable glasses and plates for kids okay these two doors open together of this cabinet in here i have plates and glass plates and some kettles i have this plastic stand which i used here for these plates
it's a huge sanitary corner I have this is the towel stand I bought it from again supermarket let's open this cabinet okay this is a huge sanitary area I have and I have so many baskets in here um, And in these baskets I just set all my grocery and snacks and biscuits etc and up here I have two mason jars in which I pour some basin and the other one is brown sugar and behind this I have two tissue paper rolls I just keep always over here and down here I have milk and rice jar and some uh, sugar pot etc and again the towel color is gray now above here on my kitchen window up here I install blinds which I use sometimes down here I decorate candle stands and have two planters which I bought from habit and here is a huge sink and a beautiful faucet it can come out as well here I keep hand wash and of course sanitizer and dishwasher liquid comes from here there is a scotch bright this is a stand came with this sink where I keep my dishes to dry and this is the view from my kitchen window I don't know you people can watch it properly or not but this is a beautiful view uh, when I stand in front of this window, I can see almost half of the city. Okay, under the sink area, I'm just leaving right now. I'll make another video for you guys that how to organize the under the sink area. Here I kept some colorful plastic glasses for kids and besides this I have plastic basket as well in which I keep onion and potatoes. Um, I can keep at least 5 kgs at a time in this basket. And up here there is another cabinet in which I set plates for daily routine and again here are two stainless steel stands, some plastic mugs which my husband takes with uh, him when he goes for work and mugs for my daughter as well okay down here this is a big cabinet I have in which I set all my pots and uh, frying pans and pans and trays some utensils strainers as well okay so right here I just set all my pots in between there are some strainers and I have a stand I bought it from a supermarket I, I will mention it in the description box but this is a stand where I just keep so this is the stand in which I can set all the uh, lid of the pots and up here I have a uh, frying pan stand as well it's easy to access you can take it and put it back easily and I have some cutting board right here and I have cooker right here some karahi and uh, I have trays here I want to share a tip with you guys I bought this plastic which is rough from upper side and smooth from this side I just set it in almost all of my cabinets it is really helpful and easy to clean and it's uh, transparent so your cabinet won't be affected and your crockery and other items won't slip from its space okay let's move on to the fun part of the kitchen the island area 
the most important area of my kitchen i am so in love with this countertop because i always wanted to have an island in between my kitchen area so i just set it so let's take a look on it and down here i keep my kitchen clothes uh, over here kitchen cleaning clothes and i don't have tissue paper stand right now so i just keep it here and i have um, a stand here which is very very useful now let's move on to the cabinet area of this island i have three cabinets a huge cabinets over here in this cabinet i just kept all my plastic accessories strainers some i have a wooden uh, cutting board some bottles popcorn jar or you can say mug and in the other cabinet i just set it so beautifully uh, again i have a corner stand a silver corner stand in on which i just set my some trays some uh, glassware and besides this i have um, some more silver pot some glass pots and that is a purple plastic stand i'm using for lids and here are some measuring cups and yeah down i have another silver stand on which i just keep my some more serving trays and in this i just keep all my extra cut cutlery for uh, guests now move on to the other cabinet in which again i have some rice dishes some pots and a maroon tray and on this tray i just keep some plastic you can say a space in which i just kept all my soup spoons and down here i have a silverware easy to access i can take it out easily and keep it back So yeah, this is the countertop island area. Okay, I love this countertop, this marble. It is actually in dark gray color with some black silver tone and some light blue color in it. It's so beautiful and smooth. And I try to decorate my countertop, my island. Um, I just keep three crystal ware, a huge pot and a vase with white flowers again white color here are um, bar chairs for the island light and weight again black in color I selected this color um, again with the theme of my um, kitchen so I have five bar chairs right now. So let's move on to the right side of my kitchen. Here I have water dispenser with a little fridge in it. And besides this, I have a double door fridge. And on top of it, I just set all my magnets, which I bought from different countries. And besides my fridge, I set a beautiful cupboard in which I decorate all my decoration pieces of crystals and different souvenirs of many countries. And the most beautiful and an elegant part of the kitchen is this chandelier again black in color but this is so beautiful and the so many lights up here and um, an incentive of this chandelier is this that we can hang some glasses down there so yeah it looks so beautiful it improves and enhance the beauty of the kitchen so yeah this is my kitchen and this is my kitchen tour 
um, I just love this space this is the most uh, spatial and the most important place of my house um, I like it so very much the color combinations the arrangements the organization and cleaning and everything I just enjoy in this part of my house and I hope you like today's video and I hope you get some more ideas of uh, organization of organizing or decorate your kitchen or any part of the house so yeah just uh, comment below and let me know that how you found this uh, video either you like it or either you can criticize on that you can do that as well but I know that you will definitely enjoy this video and please thumbs up and subscribe my channel and please do share it and please be connected with me so I'll be in touch with you and please do let me know that which part of the kitchen you like the most and I would like to know that how you organize your kitchen thank you for watching guys and I will see you and I'll catch you in other video stay blessed and take care bye bye